Hey girl. Hello Aries, how are you doing? So, already right off the bat, we're gonna be getting some cards for you. So this is going to be a general reading for your coming week. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not everything may resonate with you. But if it does, let me know in the comments below. Let me know which card resonated with you and called out to you the most. Because I, I like knowing about people's situations, right? I'm a little nosy person. But no, really, I like to know um, <laughs> how it's helpful to you. And if it is helpful to you, I would love for you to give me a like and a subscribe as well. Because it does help out my channel. And I would love for you to come back. And so, yeah, let's just get into y'all's coming week right really good stuff though i feel just right off the bat so for our first row we have the moon card the three of swords and the two of wands so i'm gonna just show you guys these cards right i love the necronomicon deck so the moon card right off the bat this is telling me a story that something's getting revealed to you something's getting revealed to you something and i don't want this to sound ominous this could just be like a uh you're just like oh a, a change in perspective so it's kind of like a you didn't know this person felt this way or you didn't know um yeah something's being revealed to you of like someone's behavior right we have the three of swords and while this imagery is kind of graphic in that like someone's stabbed it's kind of like a well this is what the situation is now how are we going to handle this and so you handle this pretty beautifully though two of wands so this coming week for you guys i'm feeling as if this is like a week for you to assess what's going on for you guys this week and this because this situation it can i speak of a person but this could just be like a in terms of like your career maybe you're not sure that was an awful shuffle maybe you're not sure about uh who you should uh work with you're not sure about what you should do for work right maybe you're up uh you have two different opportunities that you don't know which path to take and i feel like this week you're going to be shown little breadcrumbs for like what direction you might resonate with more right because i feel like i don't feel like there's a wrong choice per se yeah, I don't feel like there's a wrong choice per se because we have the Four of Cups. So it's like, I feel like it's going to be celebratory regardless of like your decision with the Two of Wands. So I feel like for you guys this week, you, this is more so about assess like this is more so like gathering and gathering information for you guys. I feel it's more of a like um, figuring out where where to go in your future i really don't feel like this is a week of like taking action necessarily i feel like this is a week of you kind of just developing a game plan for whatever was revealed to you and for some people i do definitely feel like there might be a level of five of swords energy that i pulled for you guys of where it's like yeah i don't feel as if like you're just going to be aware of people's behaviors and be like oh that's interesting but you're not going to take action like right you see yourself here you're holding these swords and these people in the back you're just like it's kind of mischievous and i'm not trying to say that like you're like having like malintentions behind this at all right i don't feel like there's anything necessarily negative with this reading or ominous with this reading i feel like this is more of a you're just taking in the information you're taking in your environment and from there it's with that information you have the three of wands energy aware then it's just like okay where do we go from here right it's just like both cards with the number with the two of wands and then the three of wands and uh either tarot cards the theme is where you're just looking out in the distance with other people with your surrounded by wands and you're just thinking about the potential like you're just looking in the future so i feel like this is all like this is a week of really spirit trying to set you up for your future and just giving you further information um to work with for the future so i don't really feel like it's a week for you to take action necessarily but we'll see, right? We have the, t for your second row, Aries, we have the Ten of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. So I feel like, yeah, you, some of you might want to take action, but I feel like this is more of a challenge on, this week is going to be a challenge for you, Aries, to control your emotions a little bit. Two of Wands here, like this, like, again, Necronomicon Conduct is pretty graphic, but you see this person knocked out, right? So maybe this person that's, re something that's revealed to you, you'll want to react emotionally to. Um, you want to say something, you want to address it, right? You'll want to talk about the issue. If there, if there is an issue, you'll want to talk about the elephant in the room. But I don't feel like this is the move for you right now, Aries. I don't feel like this is the move for you because I feel like it, you, I feel like you would feel passionately and you would have like good intentions behind what it is that you're trying to do. Like you would address the problem and for the sake of like trying to just get it over with. 
but I don't feel like that's how the other parties are feeling. I don't feel as if this is like a time of where action needs to necessarily be done. This isn't, yeah. I just, let's see, let's get some clarifiers on this. Yeah, yeah, you guys, I feel, so we have the seven of coins. So this is kind of like waiting, right? You're sitting here waiting for your crops to grow. You're not really making a move right now. You're not taking any action. So this is like, you're not confronting anybody. <laughs> you're not changing jobs necessarily. Even though I did say like, it's going to be a win-win outcome regardless. I feel like this is more so a spirit trying to give you affirmation that you don't need to react for this reason. Like your story gets better sort of thing. I think that's what spirit's trying to say. So, because like the world is your oyster. Like we have the world card twice in your spread, Aries. Like you're so close to being able to focus on your own hustle if you're not if you're not already. Like you're so close. I feel like you're just so close to standing at the edge of the world, right? Because that's been the theme: standing at the edge of the world, Aries, seeing your world and seeing the potential, and really being able to like it's you're going to be reveal to just how beautiful your life can be. You're going to be so busy with your own life, so busy leading your own life, Seven of Wands, um, and being the example for everyone else is kind of like a eat my dust sort of thing. I feel like that's the energy you want to encompass this week is just like eat your dust. So it's like a, if you do want to react, react in the way of motivating yourself to push yourself further to get to your world right um let's go to your last show right seven of cups like yeah you want to do something that's fulfilling this is the week for you to do something like the way that you get back or the way that you go forward to get to your world to get to the edge of the world is by doing something that's fulfilling to you because that's when you're going to receive those blessings when you're following your life's purpose rather than going off of like you know, really right because it's like a, if you want to react initially like, i feel like if you do choose to react or choose to confront this person or the situation or choose to react right now to this environment to whatever it's kind of like sabotaging a little bit you have so much going for you the world card again like you this like you, i feel like you don't even realize it though you have this queen of swords energy where you just like maybe like you i don't know i just keep hearing the word justified do you, I don't know if you feel justified, Aries, in what you want to do or say. Let's see. Yeah, Ace of Coins in reverse, and we had the uh, what is this? The Nine of Swords, uh, Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands in reverse, and the Knight of Coins. So, like the Knight of Coins with this, I feel like. Maybe you've been stressed about something recently. Maybe that's why you've been wanting to react. Maybe this is like a boiling point for you. And this is like your test moment because it's like, you're trying so hard at something I feel, but it's like in that process, you're feeling disempowered because you're trying so hard and it's for nothing. That's what I'm getting for you, Aries. So I feel like this is like your last, I feel like if we were going to call this anything, this would be like your test week of being like, can you retain this information to allow it to allow you to further yourself in life rather than to react ego-based and to address it or to whatever. Whatever your situation is, obviously you'll know how it correlates. Yeah, that's what I have for you guys in areas for in terms of tarot. So let's just start referring to the oracle. Let's see uh, what your spirit guide is specific. What energies I have to say. We'll refer to some animals first. So we have the goose card, the unicorn, and the cheetah. Yeah, like the goose card comes in as like the taking time to rest and to just, just taking a breather. Taking a breather, not reacting. Again, just allowing this to come into your, like come into your existence and allow this to inspire you, the unicorn. Unicorn comes in and it's just like allowing this to creatively spark you. So just basically this is like such an energy of like allowing situations right now to creatively uh, inspire you that will fulfill you in some type of way. But you need to keep focused, right? We have the cheetah card that came forward where you're keeping focused of your goal, keeping focused of your world because it's like if you lose sight, like you have like all your cards, right? I was showing you 
of where you are just are about to stand at the edge of your greatness. You're about to claim your world. And it's just a matter of you committing to walking to that edge rather than getting distracted by your sides, getting distracted by other people's journeys and wanting to confront other people or wanting to potentially change because of like information. Like, no, this is the time for you to like stay stern or not stay stern, but like commit to your path really. In our journeys, the koala card, I kept seeing this card when I was shuffling it, um, and I didn't pull it out, but <laughs> whenever I pulled, obviously I pulled it from the top thing, so this definitely was the card for you, Aries. But like, yeah, this is definitely, definitely a time for you to go inwards. This is a time for you to allow situations to teach you something inwardly. This is a time to look and be like, okay, why am I reacting this way? Why am I feeling this way? What does this mean for me? right those are like those soul searching questions that you have to ask yourself i feel and that's when you're going to really make the most of whatever whatever this is that's happening to you this doesn't necessarily again it doesn't necessarily have to be bad i don't feel like it's bad i feel like again this is like a lesson this is a time for like inner journeys i guess that's why it's hard for me to say that it's like i don't see this as a bad thing so i can't really understand wanting to react to it because i feel i see such value in this this is such a it'd be as if i ripped out a chapter in a book and or a lesson out of a book out of a teacher's book and splayed it out that's that's what i'm looking at it looks like you're looking at some type of like test of some sort um <laughs> new moon in aries it's time to take action hold your vision right fixed moon and then we have the new moon in libra a new romantic cycle begins i feel like this is just an all about new energy not focusing on the old right we have the new moon in aries right your new moon and this is about new beginnings. You're not con you're not focusing on that old energy anymore. You have the new moon in Libra. Again, new beginnings. And you're keeping you're holding your vision, your fixed um, fixed moon, fixed sight on it. Hold your vision. Remind yourself what it is that you're trying to work towards, Aries. And then from there, I feel like you'll find that everything will start working out for you. But that's all I have for you, Aries. I hope this was helpful. Goodbye.